head southwest toward Ring Road. Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tara Sevenfred, but you can call me Terry. First of all, I just want to thank you guys for subscribing. We are at 750. Well, the last time I checked before this video goes up, hopefully it would be more, but hey, 750. Thank you. I'm so thankful to you guys. I don't even know what to say. I never expected it. <laughs> Oh, I have candy in my mouth. It's so nice. Fun fact, uh, sweet tooth people are naturally sweet to be around. So <laughs> anyway, um, so for this video, I actually intended to vlog. I had, you know, I had already done like the whole outfit thing and my journey, you know, and then midway, like when I was recording um, my journey to the venue of the event, the event was um, Afro Rembo, which happened yesterday, Friday, today, Saturday. Uh, yeah i didn't get enough footage yeah me, my camera was just like girl you own your own so yeah i didn't get enough footage but i still wanted to show you guys because it's my first event as a youtuber and i'm excited it was a small intimate setting so yeah but it was nice i liked it and then we got free hair hey bye darling so um at the end i'm gonna show you you know uh, a bit of the footage that I was able to get and some of the pictures so yeah all right so let's get started so what you'll just need to do is open up your hair I got rained on Kidogo on my way back home um, so it's a bit you know oof, it's a bit shrunken I can feel the growth yani. but which is actually kind of nice because it'll look fuller the style will look fuller so this is what I just did mid part part in the middle mid part part wow um just stretch that but i want a really um defined part so i'm just gonna go ahead with this you know salon combs and just like really get in there i think that's good enough so um Just comb it out, make sure it's straight. So what you need is a headband. Uh, you can use a black one, but I'm using this uh, light one so that you can see where it is, yeah? I used a black one, and to be honest, I don't know where it is right now. <laughs> Came back home, just whoosh, I don't know where it is. But yeah, I'm gonna use this so you can see exactly where it's going, yeah? So you just take this headband and put it like just where you're comfortable with and then let it slide through to where your kisogo is yeah. like something like that yeah and just stretch the hair out you can moisturize it you can do this method to get hitless curls but for now i'm just using it as a style so if you're trying to get hitless curls then you definitely go in with a moisturizer and seal it so that you know when you unravel it's quite nice so yeah this is what you just do take a, like a small section right then lift the band and pull it through yeah and then do the same thing here and then pull it through right so yeah i removed that because i noticed it was glaring up the camera anyway as i was saying it's quite a simple and nice style you can do just repeat the same process until you have all your hair out or you can even leave the back open i don't know and your taste then you can just fluff it out like you know 
so it looks nice and full especially this side I don't have much hair on this side this side is more fuller for me so let me try then you see this is why you need um, a black headband so it doesn't show through even if it does you can still make it I don't know it can still be a cute I don't know it depends with you it depends with your style I don't want to limit you, you know? do your thing shine glow <laughs> yeah so that's what it looks like oops So this is the hair. I'm gonna do um, the baby hairs a bit later on once I've done with my makeup, so it all just blends properly. Cause I don't know, I don't like to do it before. Cause you see, once you put um, the gel and then you tie it off, you're only putting foundation until here. And I want uniformity, you know. <laughs> so I'm gonna do my edges later on. I'm gonna get started with my face, and it's already moisturized. I used shea butter again. <laughs> And for my primer, I'm using this um, Radiant, what's it called? Uh, Black Radiance. And let's take a tiny bit. It's white on the inside, but it dries um, matte. Let me show you the kind of sorcery that happened with this thing. Take a bit. And it's my second time using it. And uh, I'm amazed look at that are you see are you seeing as in bruh whoa ah! so now that the face is primed i'm going to color correct skidogo i didn't color correct yesterday you know but today i have time <laughs> i'm gonna be using this to color correct it's actually orange uh, orange red but on camera it's picking up a different color so oh well so if you've noticed I I usually use just the same uh, product I show you you I show you guys just about the same product every time that's because I'm a you know I'm a makeup minimalist because in the past I used to buy so many things and then I end up not using them and then like three four years later they've all expired and I need to replace them I'm a, I prefer something else and I haven't even used them I end up giving them out I'm a, it's just it's only time to buy what I really use because then again makeup is not cheap you know I don't want to do too much because you know I like an almost natural it's almost natural I like uh, you know not it doesn't look too done like plastic like oh, can she even breathe can she even move her mouth you know I don't like that kind of finish on myself I like it on other people but I just I don't know I don't like it on me so yeah I just color correct like the big the big stuff the other small ones can just chill <laughs> Because it'll be covered with the foundation anyway, so so I'm just gonna take this beauty triangle thingy and wet it with some water. You know, blend, blend, blend. I'm gonna go in with my powder, <clears throat> my face powder, and just so I can set it. Okay, now that that's done. The next step is to use foundation. And I'll be using what a shocker. <laughs> My BH Cosmetics Studio No BH Cosmetics foundation. So next I'm going to take my beauty blender, it's, I need to wash it, um, I'm wetting it as well, and then it's going to go and blend this out. Yeah, 
Yeah, so next I'm just gonna do my eyebrows um, off camera. I have an eyebrow, I have an eyebrow tutorial, so I'll link it down below. Okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight my eyebrow area underneath my eyebrow. And I'm using cool tan. I like the effect, it's brighter, it's more um, piercing for me. Like, you can definitely tell that, you know, it's been highlighted. But when you, when I use the, um, what's it called, form, it really blends into my skin, so it just looks mm, like, mm, okay, fine eyebrows are nice, okay. Mm. But with the cool tan, it makes it look um, kabisa, ah, it's kabisa. It makes it look done like they're actually done, yeah. See what I mean? It has a whitish, yeah. But the powder, I'm gonna go in with the powder, of course. So that's gonna make it look okay. It won't look as um, white. And I feel like I'm losing my voice. Can you guys tell the difference? It's now melody horse. <laughs> it's not like we even shouted or like did anything crazy last night just went you know took pictures but I guess it's because we talked a lot and it was kind of cold you know with the rain and everything but yeah I hope I'm not getting going down the cold if I do that's Maggie's fault anyway have you guys subscribed to her channel by the way to both Maggie and Joan Miano's channel I'm gonna link them down below because these are just cool peeps to be around and yeah you should subscribe to them and they have great content so you should mm. now that the eyebrows are done the next thing is to you know fix the eyes and I'm just gonna powder them down so that uh, to set the concealer that we just put on and that's gonna act as an eye primer so that's what I'm just gonna do mm -hmm. then I'm gonna go in with this small palette that I got from Dubois it's all matte and that's what I like about it and it's so small and you know compact you can just carry it with me anywhere I really like this um, yeah so I'm just gonna go in with this color first so everything is you know set and yeah I'm just gonna go all over my eyelid just do the same thing for the other one now after that the next thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is um, uh, do my crease of which I'll use the same palette this a small tiny one. I use it quite a lot, yeah? So yeah, this is what I'm gonna use for my crease. And I'll probably go darker. I mean, I'll build it up as I go. It depends with, you know, the look. Uh, yeah, I'll probably add some black on there. Look at that, it's so seamless, you can't even tell, like, so cute. And the camera is not really picking up everything, but there's definitely pigmentation on here. Quite a lot, actually, compared to what you're seeing. Hmm. And I'm gonna go in with the other eye. So after that, I'm going to pick um, the color, the red color that I wore, of which it's not actually an eyeshadow, oops, sorry. It's not an eyeshadow, it's actually um, blush by BH Cosmetics. This is the shade, it's so hard to open, sorry. So I'm going to be using a... I'm going to be using this color right up here and it's quite red the camera oh my gosh this one oh so cute 
So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and dab that on that. Look at how rich that is. Ooh. Rich in color, rich in life. <laughs> uh, comment down below if you know where I got that from. So yeah, I'm just gonna apply it everywhere. Oh my god, look at how. Ooh, ooh. Cheese. Mm, yummy. And ah. Uh, Oh, it looks quite nice. I like it. Looks really nice. So that's a good thing. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add for this one. Okay, I think I'm done with the color. So now I'm going to go back to um, <coughs> this palette and just go back in with the crease color so that I can, you know, make it nice and more visible. And then just go in at my corner because I'm going for like a smoky kind of look. And then, um, because it's not picking up the color as much as I want it to, I'm going to add a bit of black by um, from Sleek. I'm just going to add a bit of this to the corner so that it, you know, picks the color really nice. Just a very tiny bit. Just see what I'm doing. I just whoop, and tap it off. And then I just go ahead and put some over there. And then now the rest is what I'll come and use on this side. What's left on the brush is what I'll use on this side. Because I don't want it to be so pigmented. And you see, it's already picking up on the color so much. And I did just a tiny bit. So yeah, you're going to be careful with black. You can go from zero to a hundred real quick. I'm going to go back in with my red. Because, you know, that's the star of the moment. And I'm going to let it shine. I'm going to let it come through. Kabisa, kabisa. So, up here. Take it up a bit. So, next I'm just going to go in with my Maybelline Kajal Colossal, Colossal, Colossal Kajal. Just half of it, not full. After that, I'm just going to go in with my eyeliner. If you'd like to see... Oh, focus. Come on. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go in with my eyeliner. I'm using Huda Cosmetics. Huda Beauty? No, Huda Cosmetics. And yeah, if you want to, if you want to know how... Um, to get your perfect winged eyeliner I have a video I'm gonna link it is it up here or up here one of these two places I'm gonna link it and just like your um, eyebrows your wing line your winged eyeliner is you know they're never sisters they're twin I mean they're not twins they're sisters yeah okay so yeah so eye makeup is almost done I'm gonna go in with <laughs> my trusted BH Cosmetics. Um, I'm gonna use this. So I'm just gonna get a brush to apply that in my corner eye. Cause dramatic, hello. We're going all the way in, isn't it? Just blend that out. So I'm gonna be mixing them because fawn looks like my skin cabisa, so it doesn't really look like I have highlighted. Whereas uh, cool tan has um, a cooler effect. <laughs> it makes it look more whiter and more uh, highlighted. So I'm just gonna mix the two up. This is fawn. Uh, yeah.
looking and now this is cool tan and you can see the difference here yeah? look you see blend 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 So next I'm just going to go ahead and set the concealer that I've just applied with uh, baby powder, Kamakawaii. But I don't really bake, I just set because baking, I don't know, I just find it so odd. How many of you bake? And yes, I'll still be mixing fawn and cool tan. So it's not too white and it's not just yellowy and foundation looking. So I'm done highlighting, I'm going to go ahead and contour and I'll be using my um, Tropical Luron Face Powder to contour. Then just brush it into the hairline so everything looks seamless. always blend upwards when it comes to contour so it doesn't look like some shadow is just cast on your face and then I'm also going to contour the bridge of my nose just don't go to yeah. Okay, so at this point we're basically done with the face. I'm gonna go ahead and um, use my face powder again to just set everything and blend out um, the contour, the highlight. Mm -hmm. So yeah. And I just use this LA girl in the in the color uh, rebel. Where is it? Oh yeah, here. In the color rebel, it's about to finish. Um, but first. I'm just gonna line my lips. Um, I'm just gonna line my lips gently with the number three Davis eye pencil. And then I'm gonna go in with the LA Girl. So next I'm just going to go ahead and highlight using my Trusted Palette by BH Cosmetics and I'm going to be using this, the same one I used for my inner, my eye ducts here. Yeah? So on my nose. Ooh. 
Blind them, baby girl. Blind them. Hey. Come on. Oof. Oof. Eish. Okay. I'm done. Sorry. I don't always apply for makeup, so. <laughs> Let me just blend it out. Girl. <laughs> Blind, blind, a hey, blind them, blind them. <laughs> so next, I'm just gonna apply mascara and set my face as I do my um, baby hair and whatnot. And then yeah, I'm gonna come back to you with my finished look. So um, I just went ahead and put some Echo Styler gel on this, you know, the two strands of my hair. Wait, they're not here by accident. <laughs> so this is what your girl was looking like last night. Out here looking like a snack, living life, glowing. I mean, so I just went ahead and wore this jumpsuit that I wore last night. Yeah, life of a YouTuber. Just so it, you know. And I couldn't wear the neck piece back because I noticed it was um, glaring up the lens. So yeah, but that's basically what I was wearing with this same simple. Uh, earrings just simple sophisticated mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so yeah as I promised next is the uh, small two snippets of you know last night's event the images some pictures and some two small videos here and there so yeah thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this video